Look, I, I watched that Kurt Cobain doc on uh, Netflix that you did. Soaked in, soaked in bleach. Soaked in bleach, yeah. and it was fantastic. And uh, to be honest with you, there's some conspiracies I'm not willing to entertain where I just think it's too much. Um, yeah. Even the Kurt Cobain one, in my opinion, right? And then I watched Soaked in Bleach, and I was like, ah, maybe, maybe they're right. Um, let's, I, since you've done everything there is, let's start there, uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of go backwards into some of our favorite hits, like JBR and OJ and those guys. Um, with Kurt Cobain, in that movie, uh, they, they bring up the, the possibility that it was uh, Courtney had hired someone to kill Kurt Cobain. Do you believe that Kurt Cobain killed himself or, or someone else had? I believe that he killed himself, and let me tell you why. I, I deal with hard facts, and I, you know, I agree with you. Some conspiratorial uh, theorists, uh, people that are over the place, and I am constantly rejecting uh, some of these uh, uh, people's theories and thoughts. They go too far. So I'll give it to you, Kurt Cobain, mm -hmm. uh, there um, in the fancy uh, apartment above the garage, separate from his house, an, a known drug addict, uh, as well as, of course, the great musical celebrity that he was mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. he had his own special kit a beautiful brown leather case in which he kept a syringe a needle a tourniquet the drugs um band-aids um and a uh, skin and a cleanser and so on so here's what you have to believe if you believe that it was a suicide kurt cobain injected himself with heroin a quantity sufficient if it were divided into four parts, aliquots, it would have been enough to kill four different people. Okay. And my, at that point, man, you're in heaven, you're in Nirvana. Mm -hmm. You know, many, many of the drug deaths that we deal with, the needle is still in the person's arm, right. or sometimes it's just found right there near by the syringe. So here's what you ask are asked to accept in Kurt Cobain mm -hmm. if you go with the suicide. He injects himself with that amount, which takes effect immediately mm -hmm. injected into the vein. You understand that it goes into the uh, venous system and it hits the brain in seconds. He takes the needle out of his arm. He detaches the needle from the syringe. He cleans it off. He places both the syringe and the needle, having cleaned out the syringe also, places them back into this special kit. The tourniquet also cleans off the skin, closes it up, packages it, sets it aside, then he reaches over, takes the shotgun, and shoots himself. And the position of the shotgun was not either in a position in which you would expect it to have been had he shot himself. So, and you say, how could this have been? Well, the police who came there, and they weren't even experienced criminal homicide detectives, they just assumed that it was a suicide. That's what was reported to them, and that's what it looked like, and so on. They never did a scene investigation trace evidence, physical evidence, uh, fingerprints, footprints, and so on. Nobody was ever interrogated. Now, whether it was Courtney Love, uh, his wife, from whom he was in the process of obtaining a divorce, mm -hmm. and I don't know her. I've read about her. She uh, apparently a controversial, um, tough cookie uh, in her own right. Um, uh, I'll leave that for someone else to ascertain. But yeah, I, I, I've, any, I've, any I've met her in real life. life. I mean, you... You, yeah. you figured out. I've never seen anything like that ever in my life, or have I ever heard of anything like that? Wait, so you still think that Cobain killed himself, though, right? <laughs> well, no, no, no. But you don't I'm believe sorry. that. I, I don't see. think yeah, okay. did. I'm sorry if I did not make that point clear. No, it's, I no, it's fine. I just wanted to... Having injected himself in that state that he was in, psychologically, right. emotionally, from a pathophysiological standpoint, that he was then going to either have the need uh, or the desire or the ability to go and take the shotgun and shoot him. No, I do not think that he shot him. Yeah, that's, uh, that is a lot to, you, you really have to suspend your disbelief a number of different ways to believe it. Yeah, and I, I have met her and she is crazy. And it also wouldn't put put it, I don't. Well, that's not I a don't fact think, though. That's just your. No, opinion. but I'm He's telling you when, you, when you get to know her, case. like she, I, I understand that, but she was concerned about the money. Um, and they made this point in the documentary where, uh, you know, because the the band Hole hadn't blown up yet, like it hadn't taken off until after he committed suicide, and there was so much fascination into the group Hole, and in particular her, after she gave that speech in front of all those people crying, and it got a ton of press. That it was like, all right, but what happened up until that point? And then why were you so ready to drop an album? What was it, eight days after he died? Right. Um, 
she always has seemed like she needed money. She's continued to sell bits and pieces of that back catalog, which, you know, the members of Nirvana are pissed about. Like, um, this was the first documentary that laid it all out and, and posed the questions of like, how could someone else do this? Now, there was a, a guy there, like a groundskeeper or something uh, that they said Courtney was talking to. Do you have any uh, guesses on who it would have been besides Courtney? Because I don't think she could have pulled the trigger herself. She was no, I, I don't think that she herself pulled the trigger, most unlikely. Um, I, I would only say this, um, that people who are interested in this case should see Soaked in Bleach. I have no financial interest in that documentary at all. I want to make that very, very clear. So I'm not promoting that. I do work with the people that did uh, write it and produce it, a very serious, intelligent um, uh, gentleman. And um, I, this is all I can say. Uh, watch Soak and Bleach and you arrive at your own conclusion.